G'day, g'day, here we are back with another lesson. This time it's Kathleen by Catfish and the Bottlemen. The chorus has heaps of offbeat stuff going on, so I'll try and throw in a couple of hints to help you play those a little more easily. The rest of the song isn't too tricky, so hopefully it falls into place fairly easily. Let's jump on the kit and find out. To kick things off, we are down on the floor tom and we're playing the beat that we're going to use for our verse, but on the floor tom instead of on the rim. Then for the verse, we're playing basically the same beat, but on the rim of the drum instead of the floor tom. At the end of the verse section, going into the pre-chorus, we have this fill. That rim hit in the fill is pretty subtle, so if you left that out, it probably wouldn't make a very big difference. Then we're into our pre-chorus, which is three snares to the bar. Then we have a build up on the toms going into the chorus. Grabbing that hi hat sizzle right at the end of the build up kicks us off into this offbeat pattern that we're going to play throughout the chorus. So let me break down the first part of the chorus for you. Three, four, one. Three, four, one. So it's offbeat kick drums with offbeat sizzle hi hats. If it helps, your feet will kind of be going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left because your left foot should be up when your kick drum is going down. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. Then we move on to the second part of the chorus, which is really similar, but we add a 16th kind of groove to all those in-between bits. Three, four, one. That very first hi-hat when the groove kicks in is easiest if you start with your left hand because then the kick drums are going to line up with your right hand which is always a little bit easier because it's the same side of your body. If you really want to, you could probably leave out that first hi-hat altogether and just come in straight on the end. Let me play it a bit faster. Three, four. We play that sizzled hi-hat groove right through the end of the chorus and then there's a fill at the end that goes like this. The good news is that we go back through our verse, our pre-chorus and our chorus just the same as we've already done it and then we're going to move into our outro. The way we get there is using the groove from the first half of the chorus. play those tom hits right until the very end where we come off on the end of three and beat four. And there we go, that is how you play Kathleen by Catfish and the Bottlemen. There aren't too many sections to worry about but they might be a little bit tricky just to get up and running. If you get stuck make sure you check out my playthrough as well, otherwise happy practicing and I'll catch you in the next lesson.